In the last lecture, we passed a parameter to a function using call by value. I want to talk about an alternative way of passing variables called call by reference. So let's copy call by value to call by reference and edit that file. Okay. The key issue here is that all data, of course, is stored somewhere in memory. So as opposed to having local copies of data when we have call by value, we can do it another we can pass variables another way. Call by reference. And what we're doing now is actually sending the address, the memory address of the data, not the data. The way we denote that is say ampersand C. Ampersand C says this is the address where C is stored. Okay, it's also called a pointer. Now when we pass this, we're not passing the variable C anymore. We're passing a pointer. So I'm going to call this P for pointer. And it's saying with star P, star P it says what is the pointer pointing to? In other words, what's at that address? Well, it's an int an integer value at that address. Okay, then we simply have to say this star p instead of c because we want to access what's in memory at memory location p. Now let's just comment this out for now and run this code. Let's compile. And everything works fine. But we are not using a local copy anymore. We are actually passing a memory location and working with the information at that memory location. So if I change what's at this memory location by saying star p, in other words, again, the contents of the memory location, I set that equal to zero. We compile and run. We receive some real problems here. What's happening is that after the first call to compute C to F, the contents of this memory location are set to zero. Well, that's the same as the contents of, the, of C. This is where C is stored is at that memory location. So when it's set to zero and then it's incremented, it's incremented by one, then we get ourselves a temperature of 33.8 degrees for the rest of all time. And that's clearly wrong. So you can't do this. You have to be very careful when you do call by reference because you can get these interesting side effects. So let's summarize real quick. This is an important and difficult concept to learn and see, but it's handy. We are no longer passing a copy of a variable to a function. We are passing the memory location of that piece of data to a function. Then to access it, we say star p which means what is the data stored at memory location P or pointer P. We say int here to just make sure that we're telling the compiler that what is stored at that memory location, in fact, is an integer. Okay, so to find the address of the data, we say star of the data. And then to access what's at a particular memory location P, we say star. And if I said star here, I meant ampersand. Okay, that ends this lecture. This is call by reference as opposed to call by value.